welcome or welcome back to my channel and more importantly today 16 of the 25 day countdown to October which it is now October but whoops <laughs> stuff happens and a lot of hurdles have happened during the making of this entire series and I do apologize but today we're doing this adorable spider so we've done a spider already and it was kind of a more spooky scary spider I wanted to make a little cute spider so for today's video you will need a five millimeter hook. I my my five millimeter hook is currently tied up in another project and I cannot remove it. So I'm using a 5.25 millimeter and then you will need a three millimeter which I still haven't lost yet so good for me. And without further ado let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with the black and I'm going to make a magic circle. going to slip stitch and then I'm going to do 10 half double crochets into the magic circle. And then once you have 10 half double crochets in the magic circle, you can go ahead and pull it nice and tight. Slip stitch into that first spot. And then go ahead and chain two because now you're going to be doing two half double crochets in each spot. And that way you should end with 20 double crochets. So I have finished my 20 double crochets. So I'm going to slip stitch into that first spot, chain one, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do one single crochet in each spot all the way around. And once you finish that, you can go ahead and slip stitch into that first spot. Chain two, make sure to pull out enough of a tail to stitch all the way around the entire thing. And we can go ahead and pull that tight. Make sure the center spot is nice and tight. And just to get that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and weave that in real fast. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm going to get a little bit of white yarn. I'm going to get a little bit more than I usually would for the eyes because I need a little bit for the mouth too. So I got about, and this might be too much, but here's it in half, here's it in fourths, and it is I got about that much. Measure that out how you will. And I'm going to apply that in half. Just plying that in half. And with that plied in half, I'm going to grab my three millimeter hook and make a magic circle. I'm going to slip stitch and then I'm going to do six single crochets. And 
And in case I wasn't clear, that was six single crochets into the magic circle. I assumed you figured that out. <laughs> Go ahead and pull that tight. Slip the stitch into that first spot. And then chain two and pull out a tail. And I know, I know, spiders have more than two eyes, but this is just a fun little project. <laughs> Don't get technical on me. And now on the other end of that, since I made it really long, I'm going to start the other eyeball. So again, magic circle. And then I'm just going to kind of dangle that in half so that I can evenly get a tail for that. I'm going to go ahead and cut this excess off on the back. And I'm going to take the other one that I cut, which is too long, but that's fine. Leave a little bit of a tail. There we go. And then I'm going to chain seven. to pull out a tail and then pull that nice and tight and then for the pupils I'm just gonna do what I've been doing and just take a tiny bit of black it really doesn't take much I'm gonna tie a knot in the middle of each of them Going to figure out about where I want the eyes. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch them down. Just doing my usual stitch down technique. Coming up to the edge and then back down again. I'm going to go ahead and stitch both of these down and I will be right back. And in case you were curious how this was ending, uh, this one happened to end with me coming up through the last one. So I'm just going to go back down through the next one, even though technically that one's stitched down so that it is on the bottom. And I haven't secured these yet. I'm going to secure them once I do the pupils, which I'm going to go ahead and do the pupils now. So I'm going to go in the middle and I'm going to go up a little bit. I'm going to go through the other one. I'm going to go through the middle and I'm going to go down a little bit. So that the pupil is attached. And then to secure it, I'm going to take the two black strings and gently tie them together at first and then pull them tight. And then grabbing one of them in the white, I'm going to do the same thing. And I can just kind of snip those 
and leave them in the back because they're going to be stitched down to this. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye and I will be right back. So I went ahead and I finished off both of the eyes and now I have it pinned down. I haven't done the mouth yet because with it kind of loose and like bubbled up because it's not pinned down, it's hard to do the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch it down first, just with my usual technique like I did with the eyes, just straight down through the back. And then up and catching one of those loops. And back through. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way around his little face, body, whatever, and I'll be right back. Right, so I went ahead and I stitched him down. Ignore his eyes, they're a little wonky at the moment. But I went ahead and I stitched him down and then I weaved the end between him and the background. I just weaved it up and out here because I'm going to use it for part of the legs later. But for now, I'm going to, where did I set his mouth? Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and take his mouth and figure out a good spot for it. And just like with the little Frankenstein, I kind of want to do a little diagonal here. Or like anglet, I mean. I'm going to go in here. It's going to take a little like finagling, finessing, whatever you want to call it, to find a good spot for him. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's perfect, actually. That's really cute. And then I'm going to come back up into that first spot right there. And I'm just going to keep going and stitch down his mouth so it stays put. Now that his mouth is stitched down, I can go ahead and I can take the two white ends, tie them together. And then just kind of stick it through the back to get it out of the way. And now for his legs. And this again was one of those ones that I did struggle with a little bit. I find a good spot that I think would be a good angle for it to go up. Probably right, right about there. And then angle down. I'm going to mark right below where I want it to go down. find where I want it to bend, I go through there. And I come back up through that same spot. And then through here. And then I take it, I figure out where I want the next leg to go. I'm going to say right about here, bend right about there, and come down right about here. So I'm going to put this right below where I want that to be. And I kind of work it in reverse this time. So I'm going to put this through the back loop of these. And then come up through here. 
I'm going to again figure out where I want everything to set. So I think right there. I want it to be a little lower than that, actually. And the nice thing about this is you can continue to change your mind. There we go. That's much better. And just kind of find a good place for all that to go. And that's pretty much what you're going to keep doing on the side and the other side. And you could just go straight down, but it leaves that empty spot right there. That's why I like to kind of go back through and kind of give him a joint, a knee, if you will. Little, little knobbly knees. And yeah, there is the little spider's legs. And since this isn't enough to do anything with, I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. So I'm going to... it off to secure it first just like this and then just weave it through a little bit there you go and I'm going to repeat that same process on the other side, and I'm just going to kind of guesstimate the yarn needed. I'm going to give myself a little wiggle room, come up through here, and kind of follow my same pattern. Kind of over-exaggerating so that I have some extra room, and then give myself a tail to work with. And I'm going to do that exact same thing on the other side. Just leaving a tail hanging out the back this time, and then I will weave that in at the end, and I'll be right back. Right, so I went ahead and I did the other legs just like I did these ones. When I got to this last one, I stitched it in the same to get rid of the end. And this clip is here because when I first started, this was the beginning when I weaved it in and started the leg. I went ahead and pinned this out of the way, so this is part of this leg. So I'm going to tie that off and weave it in as well. I just wanted to let you know how this side was done without repeating the whole process that you just saw and being redundant. I'm just going to find a good spot. And this one isn't blocked yet, so once it's blocked it will be a little flatter and better, but he is still very cute. There we go. So yeah, this is the little, the, the cute little spider. I don't know what I'm calling this video just yet, but yeah. If you make him, whether you make him in the same colors or different colors, please, 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 please post it on Facebook or Instagram and tag me. I really want to see them. And then for tomorrow's video, we're not going to be doing a solid background this time. So I'm just going to tell you the colors that we'll be using for tomorrow. And we're going to be making two squares this time. So you're going to need black, white, red, and orange. And that's all I'm telling you. I'm not giving you any more information. <laughs> so it's not really going to be any guesses for tomorrow because I'm giving, being so vague about it. So... I'm going to go ahead and skip asking you what you think it's going to be, but I am going to ask you to let me know what you're currently working on down in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in tomorrow's video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!